Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at please insert a disc into removable disc error. We're going to take this step by step with a guide here in the background so you can kind of see. You can follow along. You can go straight to the article and read it yourself. So what we're going to do, first of all, if you're getting this error, we're assuming that you already put the drive in and out tried another drive if you have a desktop tried front USB and a U rear USB port if that did not work you now want to take it over to another computer and see if the error repeats there so if the error did not repeat we can continue with changing the drive letter and we're gonna do this by as you can see opening file Explorer going to this PC right click on it and select manage that will bring up computer management and we want to scroll down here to disk management give it a second to load if your thumb drive is in because thumb drives are always a little bit slower and what we're looking for here is to make sure we have the proper drive as you can see here is mine I know it's the F drive if you're not sure take it out put it back in see if it appears so you know which drive it is we want to know just in case the next window that opens blocks this what letter is free you have C in my case D E and F so my next logical choice would be to change it to G double click oh no right click change drive letter and pass click on change right here and change that to G now click on OK you can close this out reboot your computer and see if it works in a perfect world it does now I'm gonna minimize this we're gonna come back to it later but if you did this you'll have to be able to come back here and remember to go to File Explorer and open it back up. Next thing we want to do is the Hardware Devices Troubleshooter. That is in your Start Control Panel, Update and Security, Troubleshoot over here, wait for it to load, find hardware and devices. Run the Troubleshooter. It does not give you any prompts, any warnings, it just runs. And if you were paying attention, you might have noticed I had a little uh, driver waiting for me. So when this gets done, it's going to look exactly like this screenshot because it thinks it found a problem because I have a pending driver. So you may get nothing. If you don't, then this was all for nothing, but we tried. So when it gets done, you'll want to click on Apply This Fix. You'll see it here in just a few minutes, probably not even, probably now. There you go. Apply This Fix, and when you're done, reboot your computer and see if that could work. So now I want to be a little bit more careful because now we're going into a little bit more advanced, but still easy to do we want to run check this so depending on your operating system you can do Windows X should be for Windows 8 and 10 to get right to PowerShell as admin you can see it right here now if you have an older operating system Windows 7 you probably you can find it in there it's, it's buried at start and way down here in Windows accessories or something but try the Windows key uh, plus S and type in command till it shows up right click and run as administrator another option would be Windows R and do CMD dot exe but that will not run as administrator so we'll stick to the first one Windows search C O M M A N D run as administrator it doesn't matter which one you use really they're both gonna do the same thing it's fine I'm gonna stick with PowerShell because I'm in Windows 10 and it's just a habit so now we want to check this the drive I think mine's right protected so it won't work but I'm going to show you anyway just so you know so it's chk dsk forward slash f which is fine and fix any problems with files and then your drive now if you forgot your drive either go back here it's f as you can see here I use G as an example replace G another way to do it is again open your file Explorer and there is my thumb drive F and we'll do check this forward slash F my know my drive is F F colon for my drive and of course oh it worked this time in that grand so that's how fast it is on a relatively small drive and if you found any problems you see here there are no problems if you found problems pop that drive out see if you solved your problem if it didn't and it doesn't see any problems then we have to move on to our final step it could also be a bad drive which you should be notified here if there's any problems last but not least backup 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 and I mean backup to step number one and I do mean backup in this case if you were able to get this thumb drive or external drive 
to read into another computer, back everything up because it's all gone if you're down this far. And I'm hoping we got you solved before this. Two ways to do this. We're going to format the drive. Come back to computer management. Again, follow the steps or right click on this PC, manage. And all you want to do here is right click and select format. You'll get a warning. Say, yep. Don't change anything. You have some choices here. Leave it all alone. Just do a quick format. Won't take long. And once you're done with that, pull the drive out, put it back in again, see if it works. The other thing you can do is when we were in there under format is if it didn't work the first time, maybe do a full format by unchecking. That's about the only thing I would do. And for those of you who just like multiple choices, you can also come over here, highlight the drive, right click and look for format. As you can see, it's not much different, but again, we're changing nothing here. There's no reason to. And the quick format, you hit start and it goes pretty quick. What I don't like about doing it here is it doesn't tell you it's completed. See how fast that was? You'll notice it never told me it was done formatting here. So uh, I'm not a, a super fan of that, but because it can be slow. So you, you think about it, do whichever way you want. I'd probably go to File Explorer because you get the message. So, And that's about it at this point. If nothing else works, you probably have a bad drive. So all that said, I hope we fixed your problem. We thank you for watching. We thank you for all the new subscribes, and uh, we'll see you.